Hi everyone. I want to show you an exercise today which is both a warming up exercise and, a, and an exercise in its own right which I personally have found allows me to get into this area here just in front of the ischial tuberosities in an area our American colleagues call the underbutt better than pretty much any exercise apart from the weighted um, legs apart exercises using the kettlebells. So look, this, this, I want, I'll get into the position and then we'll, then we'll talk about it. Firstly, I'm resting on this foot here like this. I'll just move myself back a tiny bit. And I've got this leg out here like this. The idea is that by... Oh, the other feature of the exercise is that this hand here is balancing me so I can move forward and backwards really easily. So when I put my arm in this position like this, now when I straighten this leg, I can use little body movements backwards and forwards like this, little pulsing movements as we call them, or Olivia calls them micro movements. By holding my body onto the leg here and straightening it, we're also invoking the reciprocal inhibition reflex here, and it really has a fantastic effect in turning off that hamstring. So that's movement number one. Movement number two, we hold the body, or the upper foot I should say, like this, and now I'm going to pull my body onto the leg and you'll notice that the upstage hand here is supporting me. I'm perfectly balanced and I can actually relax this leg in this position. And then holding the body onto the leg, I again use these little straightening movements like this. I re-straighten my back, take a breath in. This turns it into an incredibly strong hamstring only stretch. So this one here is partly hamstring and partly the lower back. This position here is all hamstring. And then once I hold the inside of my foot like this and straighten the leg fully this and then I can even come down onto this knee or stay up it doesn't matter you can play with both but watch this now is the half pancake movement and this is the halfway in between half pancake and quarter pancake movement like this and like this with a straight leg and in combination all of these movements will loosen up the, all the muscles that you need for pancake for front splits and eventually for pike as well if you move the center of your body over the leg. But the real beauty of this movement is its bent to straight leg which as we all know from other exercises we've played with simply stretches the muscles out the best. It's got a little balancing component to it too and I find any exercise that uses a balancing component as well um, the balancing requirement takes your mind off the discomfort of the exercise and you can always get a deeper stretch. Anyway, try it and please report back in the forums and tell us what you think about it.